What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video I am going to show you how to set up and configure the Poco Watch smartwatch and I will give you in-depth information regarding all of its features, options and how you can use them to improve your productivity and use this device to get the most benefits out of it. So here we go. So here is my Poco Watch. The very first thing we need to do is switch it on. So now the English language is selected by default. You can select whatever language you want after that tap on this tick mark and now it will ask you to scan this QR code using your smartphone to download the Mi Fitness application. If you already got it on your device like me as you can see here then you can just tap on this arrow mark and after that you can launch the Mi Fitness app. Make sure that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Now here at the bottom you will find an option called devices. Just tap on it. Then on the next screen it will try to connect with any of the current Xiaomi smartwatch if you got one already. But we need to now configure our Poco watch. For that you need to tap on this plus icon at the top right corner. And then it will show you the list of Xiaomi smartwatches, fitness trackers, etc. So you can see that our Poco watch is appearing here. So just tap on this. After that, just give it the permission. Tap on agree. Give the permission for the location. Once again, tap on OK. Turn on the location if it is turned off. And now you can see that it is searching for a Poco watch and it found this Poco watch here. Now you just need to agree for the privacy policy and you can see that it just detected our Poco watch and the same security key is appearing on the display of the smartwatch as well as on the screen. So just confirm it from these two and you can see that our Poco watch is paired with our Mi Fitness application. It is showing that how we can use the side button. If I press it once, then it will open the list of application. If I press and hold for three seconds, then it will show the system settings and the menu. If I tap on next, it will show that I can swipe left to use different widgets and I can also customize it if I want. And from top, I can get all of the notification. And if I swipe up, it will open the control center. And now we are done with the pairing process. On the next screen, it will show you the recommended features. So the first one is app notification. It is turned on by default and same goes with the incoming calls as well. And we must use these two features because then only you will be able to get the notification for the apps or incoming calls on your Poco watch. So now just tap on settings and then on the next screen it will show you that we need to give the Mi Fitness application to access to the notification on our smartphone. So just tap on settings one. Now you have to locate the Mi Fitness app. Just tap on this and tap on this slider that says allow notification access. It will show you this danger that Poco Watch and Mi Fitness are going to have all of the access to the notification etc just tap on ok after selecting the i'm aware of this possible risk and now the notification access permission is given to the me fitness app so just keep going back and here you can see that you get the option to select for what applications you would like to get the notification on your poco watch for example the game is fault 9 also keeps sending some notification time to time on your smartphone but it is not an important one and maybe you would not like to get it on your smartwatch so you can turn it off but if you would like to get notification for your calendar to get notifications regarding the meetings and all then you can just tap on the slider same you can do for any of these for example contacts if you want to get notification from uh, facebook google duo or even from gmail then you can just tap on the slider it totally depends on you that for which applications you would like to get the notification on your poco watch after that just tap on done and then tap on allow and keep giving all of the needed permission to access the list of contacts and call logs to be displayed on your device and you can see that both of these app notification and incoming calls are turned on now just tap on done and we are good to go. And this is the dashboard of our Poco Watch here. So first of all, let's have a look on all of the features and options that we got on the app itself. So the very first thing is the watch faces. If you tap on this, 
you will get the list of watch faces which are installed on our Poco watch. So if you want to select any of these, then you just need to tap on that. And after that, you need to tap on apply button here. And as you can see that the watch face on my Poco watch is changed. Let me give you another demo. So for example, if I want to select this one, then I just need to go there and tap on apply. And then that watch face will be applied on my Poco watch here. Right next to the local, you can see there is another tab called online from where you can download all of these watch faces on your Poco watch. So there are so many watch faces available on the Mi Fitness app here. For example, if I want to download and install this watch face on my Poco watch, then all I have to do is tap on it. Then on the next screen, once again, I will get the option to apply it. So just tap on apply, it will first download and then it will apply it on my Poco watch here. And as you can see that the new watch face is applied on my Poco watch. And for some reason, if you want to delete it later, then once again, you can just tap on this delete button right here, or you can go back to the local watch faces and you will find this newly installed watch face there tap on it and then tap on delete to delete it from your poco watch and it is gone the second option is the app notification we have already went through this process to select all of the applications for which you would like to get the notification on your device but now this time the list is actually pretty more extensive and you can select any of these once again to get the notification on your poco watch we got two more options this time. So the first one is receive only when phone is locked by default. It is turned off. If you want, you can turn it on just by tapping on the slider. And the second one is wake screen. So this is turned on by default. So if any notification comes on the smartphone, it will be transferred to the Poco Watch and then the screen of the Poco Watch will lit up. If you do not want this, then you can tap on this slider to turn it off. And if you do not want to get the app notification at all on your Poco Watch, then you can entirely turn off this feature, but then you won't be able to view notification on your variable device. And this is not a wise idea. So better to keep it on and also the wake screen feature. Then the next one is incoming call. If you go there, you will get the option whether you would like your Poco watch to vibrate when the incoming call is coming. And if you are getting a phone call from an unknown number, which is not saved in your phone book, then you can silent it as well. If you turn on this feature or if you would like to get the notification for unknown callers as well, then better to keep it off. Now the next one is the background permission. If you go there, it will explain that why keeping the app running in the background is very important to get the notification. And here is the method that how you can turn on or off this option on any of these smartphone OS, depending on the brand of the smartphone you got. Then if you go down, we got the health monitoring options and features grouped together. So the first one is heart rate. If you go there, the first option you will get for the continuous heart rate monitoring and after what interval you would like your Poco Watch to record your heart rate data. So by default, it is at 30 minutes. If you want, you can close it. If you want, you can select every minute, but it will consume more battery on your Poco Watch because after every minute, it will keep monitoring your heart rate. So depending on your health situation, how fit you are and how important this data is for you, you can select from every minute to 30 minutes for your Poco Watch. Then the next option is high heart rate alert. For this, you can set the alert value that at what BPM level you would like to get the high heart rate alert based on your fitness condition. And once your heartbeat, heart rate crosses that mark, you will get the notification on your Poco Watch that your heart rate is increasing and you need to take care of it. It is a wise idea to keep it on if you have any heart related issues. The next one is the active heart rate. It is the same as the high heart rate. The only difference is that it will work only when you are exercising because when you are working out, then your heart rate increases. So it does not make sense to get the high heart rate alert for the same numbers when you are working out or when you are sedentary. So here in this, you can just tap on the slider active heart rate. It will be activated and then you can select the alert value for which you would like to get the high heart rate alert when you are working out based on your fitness situation. So by default, it is at 180. 
you can go higher or lower depending on your preference after that the next one is slip tracking if you tap on it you will get just one option called advanced monitoring you can just tap on it to turn it on it will show you this message that turning on this feature will affect battery life because lots of sensors will start accumulating the data for advanced monitoring tap on continue and it will be turned on then the next one is spo2 monitoring for the blood oxygen saturation level by default it is turned off the first one is off by default the second one is during sleep so unlike the heart rate monitoring there is no 24 7 spo2 monitoring available for poco watch so it is available only when you are sleeping and you can select the frequency between 10 minutes or 30 minutes so depending on your preference you can select any of these or you can just turn it off entirely then there is a stress monitoring once again you will get only one option here to turn it on that's all day monitoring and after that we got the sedentary reminder it will work from eight o'clock morning to nine o'clock if you want you can change the duration for example if you're waking up early in the morning at six o'clock and you want to start counting your physical activities throughout the day and till late at night then you can just change the start and ending time depending on your preference and you can even set the dnd if you do not want to get any alert for a particular time interval on your poco watch after that we got the weather if you go here once again you will get only one option to get the weather updates on your poco watch for that you will have to give the location access to the me fitness app to access the location and based on that provide the weather updates to your device so depending on that you can select any of these option to turn it on and the next one is camera using this you can use your poco watch as the camera shutter so by default it is turned on there is an application provided on the device itself to use this feature and if you want to turn it off then you can just tap on this turn off button and then we got the workouts here you can see that we got lots of workout depending on your preference you can add few of them on the workout app on the poco watch and you can even rearrange the position by dragging and dropping them from here and there so for example let's assume i want to add a strength training in the list of workouts on my poco watch then i can just tap on this plus icon in front of a strength training you can see it is synced successfully if i go here you can see that a strength training is added and once again i can drag and drop it anywhere i want if you want to remove it then you can just tap on this minus icon and it will be gone from your poco watch after that we got the options for the widgets so you can see by default we got six widgets on our poco watch if i want to add another one then i can add up to six and that is the maximum limit once again you can move the position of these widgets that in which sequence they will appear on the poco watch and if you want to remove any of them and add another one once again you can do it for example you can remove slip and you can add a stress it's totally up to you after that what we got is the app layout so we got two options grid and list as the name suggests if you select grid it will show the grid of all of the application and if you select list then it will show you all of these apps one by one we will have a look on this ui interface very soon race to wake is a nice feature and you can even schedule it on me fitness app and this is a nice idea to schedule it because if it is turned on 24 7 and you are sleeping with the poco watch on your wrist and if it is detecting there is some movement then the screen will lit up and it might affect your sleep so better to keep it off when you are going to the bed and you can even select the sensitivity that poco watch can use to use this feature and detect whether you are raising your wrist to have a look on the poco watch after that we got the help center update about device these are just for the informational purpose so i am gonna leave it the me fitness app and now let's have a look on all of the features and options that we got on the poco watch itself so this is the watch face of our poco watch if you swipe on the left then here you will get all of the widgets to quickly access the information on your poco watch if you swipe from the top to bottom here you will get all of the notification if you swipe up from the bottom here you will get the control center so the first option is dnd here you can turn it on permanently or you can schedule it for the next 30 minutes one hour two hours it's totally up to you that for how long you would like to use the dnd feature the next one is raise to wake and using this option here you can turn it on or off then from here you can set up the alarm 
then you can use the display of poco watch as a flashlight by brightening up the screen and if you want to turn it off just tap on the screen after that what we got is the screen wake feature so if you tap on this it will wake for five minutes continuously so now the screen will not shut off after 30 seconds or 15 seconds it will keep showing the content for the next five minutes and if you want to access the settings then you can tap here and go to the settings so this is the control center you can get the battery percentage about connectivity time and this is the watch face of our poco watch so now if i press this physical button here it will bring me to this user interface where you will find all of these apps so the first one is workout you can see that we got plenty of workouts if you want to start doing any of them all you need to do is just tap on it wear the poco watch on your wrist and tap on go if you tap on settings you can even set the goal in terms of time and calorie consumed and if you want to get alerts while working out then you can set the time that after how much time you would like to get alert that okay 10 minutes has passed or 20 minutes has passed so these are some options and settings that you can use while working out the next one is the physical activity records because the device is totally fresh we have started right now there is no record but once you start doing workout it will be displayed here after that what we got is the pedometer information so like how many calories were burned throughout the day how many steps you have taken how many times you stood up after sitting for a while so these are the information you will get from your pedometer under the physical activity start the next one is the heart rate monitoring so here you can get all of the information regarding the average heart rate resting heart rate max minimum and it also shows the heart rate zone in different color to give you the idea that how your heart rate is working throughout the day and for how much duration it was under these particular stages then the next one we got is the spo2 monitoring you can see right now we have no data but once again just like the heart rate monitoring you can get the average highest and lowest information and after that we got the sleep tracking no data obviously and then the next one is the stress monitoring once again no data but it will show you that what was your average max and minimum level of stress throughout the day based on these four different level and stages of the stress then the next one is breathing exercises if you're finding yourself being stressed then you can use these breathing exercises to calm yourself you can select between the intensity like moderate fast slow or you can also select based on the timing whether you would like to go for one minute or five minutes depending how stressed you are after that what we got is the women's cycles if you are a woman you can keep tracking of your monthly cycles etc right on your poco watch then the next one is the weather of course there is no data right now and after that we got the music control so if your device is connected with your smartphone and you're playing some music on your smartphone then you can control it so if i'm playing some music on my smartphone for example here i'm playing a music video of linkedin park of the song fent then i can control it right from here on my poco watch so i can pause it play it i can skip the track to the next one or go back to the previous one using these buttons here and you can also increase decrease the volume right from your poco watch without facing any issue after that the next one is the camera app so if you launch it you will get this option to set up camera in the app press ok and you can see that we are getting this user interface on our poco watch here then you can take the picture using this shutter button and if you want you can even set up the timer based on your preference to capture the image from your smartphone after a while now the next one is the alarm clock you can set up the alarm pretty basic stuff the next one is stopwatch after that we've got the timer and you can select from the predefined numbers or you can select custom based on your preference after that what we got is the compass because poco watch comes with multi-system built-in gps first of all you will have to calibrate you will have to move your watch in the 8 and then it will start working so you can see it is working quite fine 
when I'm changing the angle and direction of my Poco watch, the numbers are changing as well. So this is a pretty useful feature. After that, what we got is the notification. You can access it from the watch face itself or you can just go to the list of apps and then tap on this option here. Then the next one is the find phone feature. What exactly does that? If your smartphone is out of your sight and you want to find it, then you can just tap on this search and then your phone will start ringing and then you will find it where exactly it is and you can locate it easily. So this is also a pretty nice feature, pretty common as well, but still a good one. And then the next one is flashlight, just like the one that we can access right from the control center. And then the last one is the settings. So here, once again, we got some options. The first one is the watch faces. From here, you can select watch faces on your Poco watch. Another option to select the watch faces is from the Mi Fitness app, or you can press and hold on the watch face itself, and then you can select any of these watch faces. So we've got three methods. The first one is from the watch face itself. Another one is from Mi Fitness app. And the third one is from the settings. After that, the next one is the brightness. So you can select the auto adjustment of the brightness. If you turn it off, then you will get the option to select the brightness level from one to five. By default, it is on third. Personally, I would prefer to go with the auto brightness to get the best battery life. Then the next one is DND. You can turn on the instant DND or you can schedule it depending on your preference. And you can also set up the pin on your Poco watch for better security and privacy. I will show in another video how to do this setup. Then we got the option for the Bluetooth disconnection reminder. Once again, this is a useful feature. For example, if you are moving away from your smartphone, leaving it behind and once the Bluetooth is disconnected, terminating the connection between the smartphone and the smartwatch, then the Poco watch will give you an alert that you are going out of the range of the smartphone Bluetooth and you will realize that the phone is not with you and you need to go back and find it. Then the next one is display. Here you can select after how many seconds the screen will auto lock. By default, it is at five. You can go as high as 20. The next option we got is the always on display to keep it turned on or off. If you turn it on, you will get this message that it's going to affect your battery life. You can even schedule it from morning to night depending on your preference. So now if you turn on the always on display and go back to the watch face, let's wait five seconds and let's see what's going to happen. So this is the always on display on our Poco watch and you can Turn it on from the settings as I have just shown you. The next one is cover to sleep. This is once again a useful feature. If you turn it on and if you cover the screen with your hand, then it will go to sleep. And after that, what we got is double tap to wake feature. By default, it is turned off. If you turn it on, go to the home screen. Now when the display is off, you do not need to press this physical key to turn it on. You can just double tap on the display and it will turn on. So these are the features we got under the display. If you go to the vibration, here you can select the strength of the vibration, whether you would like to go with a strong or default. We just got two options. Let's select the default one. And if you go to the system, you will get the option to reboot power off, reset your Poco watch. And then in the about watch section, you will get the information regarding the Poco watch. So these are all of the features and options we got on our Poco watch that you can use to improve your productivity and use this smartwatch in a better way. So that's all for now, friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.